Lots of people wonder how to get their ideas on the telly, so here's an upbeat little guide to why if you're lucky that'll never happen, and if it does, it'll be a nightmare. First of all, let's assume this man represents your idea. Now, if it's possible to showcase your idea live or on the internet, then for God's sake do that before you even think about letting anyone in telly get their hands on it. If it succeeds, they'll beat a path to your door. But say it's not practical or possible to do that, well, what else can you do? Your best bet is to get a job in TV and after several months slaving in lowly positions, try to bag a job in development. Of course, the company you're working for has to make money to survive, so rather than creating anything worthwhile, you'll be working up an endless stream of shit ideas they hope will be an easy sell. Eventually, you throw caution to the wind and introduce your idea to your fellow creatives and against the odds, they love it! Having boiled your idea down to a capsule description a child could understand, you approach your first port of call. You outline your idea to a commissioning editor and stone the crows he likes it. Well, sort of, because he also suggests a few changes. But they seem reasonable enough, so you incorporate them as best you can, then sit back and wait for a response. And you wait and you wait and you wait, and eventually you're told the commissioning editor has left, and his replacement reckons this whole cowboy hat thing renders the entire idea useless. Still under pressure to sell, you take your idea to a funky rival channel notorious for dangerous cutting-edge content. Here, another commissioner suggests it be fronted by up-and-coming comic Barry Shitpeas. What about Barry? because he's being groomed as a future face of the channel. A few evenings later, you and Barry hook up for an evening to discuss the idea. He's got plenty of suggestions, every single one of which makes you want to vomit so hard your guts fly out your mouth and hit him in the eye, but instead you nod like a bitch. You work his changes into your original pitch, like the snivelling whore you are, and represent it to Captain Burstrings. Brilliant, he says, and informs you there's a commissioning round coming up and your idea's definitely on the shortlist. Once again, you wait and wait and wait and wait and wait until an email arrives telling you they decided to go with something completely different. By now, months have passed and your original idea's looking a bit stale, so in a pathetic bit to spruce it up, you work in some stupid fad you read about in a magazine that afternoon and take it to yet another channel, this time a major commercial hitter. They won't even consider it without a major name attached, so it's out with Barry Shitbees and in with Ant and Deck. They also want to make your idea accessible to their imaginary audience of idiots, but by now you've lost so much dignity you're in a trance, so you just concur and nod and do as they say. That evening you have a nightmare in which you crouch in an alley giving blowjobs for pennies while the theme from This Is Your Life plays in the background. What could it possibly mean? It's still troubling you the next day as you sit in reception alongside someone with a similar idea which looks slightly better than yours. Finally, you're told, sorry, they've spent their budget for this round, there's no more slots, and they're trying to go up market, and your idea's just a bit too dumb. By now, your job's on the line, the execs are screaming at you, and you don't give a f anymore about anyone or anything. So you call on some obscure satellite channel you've never even heard of and try and flog it to them. Here, you're asked to literally rub shit all over your idea and turn it into a vehicle for some reality TV star. But it's not even an idea you recognise anymore, and that's not the only problem. No, because you've also got to cut all the best bits out of your idea because they want 150 episodes and they've only given you a budget of 27 pence. Worse still, you can't hire enough staff, so everyone involved in making it has to work insane hours that make them pry around the clock and despise you. Congratulations, you've become an exploitative telly scumbag. Eventually, your bastardised, rehashed idea finally makes it on air, at which point everyone who tunes in thinks it's shit! Oh, don't believe it. Get off that fucking telly! Don't fucking waste my money! Inevitably, the ratings crash through the floor, and then to cap it all, some smug, doe-faced Lawrence Fishburne lookalike on BBC4 rips it apart using selective footage and witlessly puerile so-called criticism. At the end of the day, this programme's a load of shit thought up by and there lies your idea, dead as a dodo's doornail, messed around, shat on and despised. Was it ever any good to start with? Doesn't matter, because you will never, ever know. And that's exactly how TV works. <laughs>